Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I wanted to go over vacation ideas. Um, summer's coming and you know, vac family vacation is coming up. And so I thought I'd share some things that we have done with our three little kids. Um, the first one I thought I would go over is a Colorado vacation, uh, specifically to Colorado Springs. And, sorry, I have a list down here. Um, let me try and move it up some. Anyway. So, it is a fun thing to do with little kids, um, and just even if you don't have kids, there's lots of fun things to do there, but one of our favorite things to do in Cairo Springs is Garden of the Gods. Um, it is just beautiful. I mean, it is so beautiful, and even growing up there and going there all the time and taking my kids there several times, like, I never get tired of looking at it. Um, there are lots of fun hiking trails at Garden of the Gods. Um, some are easy, some are hard, so you kind of pick what you want. Um, <clears throat> if you need to do a stroller, the main little walking trail when you first pull in, they have a sidewalk. So you can go ahead and get the stroller out and do, you know, the the kid friendly, stroller friendly, um, um, anyway, so you can do the kid friendly little trail and it takes you through some beautiful rocks, some really good picture spots. Um, and then if you can go without a stroller, there's lots of other hiking trails that are fun on foot. Um, and I have taken, my two and four year old on some of those. So they're still not hard necessarily, but you can't take a stroller cause it's like a dirt path and there's a few rocks, you know, you have to kind of climb over a little bit and stuff, but it's not anything too hard. Um, I would say that Garden of the Gods is also uh, pregnant friendly. I have gone and hiked pregnant and I would recommend though, make sure you drink extra water because since it's such a high elevation and it's drier out there unless you're used to living there um it it does get to you quickly um especially being pregnant but yeah so garden of the gods is a great choice to go and oh and it's free i don't know if i mentioned that but it is free so that's amazing they also have a really neat welcome center and it's got like a little museum and stuff in it and it's it's a great place to go to and it's also free um they have a video like a movie and i think you might have to pay for that it's kind of like an imax movie thing um, and I don't know what the cost is on that, but it's probably on their website. And I'll try and link everything I say down below. Um, so yeah, Garden of the Gods. All right, then the next thing we really like to do is um, focus on the family. Focus on the Family is an organization, I don't know if you're familiar with them or not, but they are based in Colorado Springs. They produce Adventures in Odyssey. It's a radio program for kids, and then they have a whole lot of other things, um, too, they do, but that's probably one of our favorite things. We listen to Adventures in Odyssey, but downstairs in their Welcome Center at Focus on the Family, they have Adventures in Odyssey that you can actually go and visit, and this, too, is also free, which is amazing. And it's so much fun. My kids absolutely love Focus on the Family. Um, they have like a play area. They have a giant slide. I think it's like four stories tall um, and it like twists. Um, and there is a height requirement on that. My six-year-old can do that, but the others are too short. Um, and then you also can't be too tall because you'll get stuck in it. So I'd say like that six to 12, 13-ish age um, is probably what is best for that slide, but it's really fun. And then they also have some interactive stuff. They have a toddler room that's meant just for little tiny babies with stuff that they can play on. You can book a birthday party there. Um, there's just all kinds of fun little things to do. And they also have a little soda shop there that you can get like pizza, hot dogs, hamburgers, ice cream, just some fun things. And it's all themed and it's, it's a lot of fun. We like to go and we always spend, you know, half a day there or so. And the kids just, they love it. Um, and it's also inside. So that's a good thing year round. It doesn't really matter what the weather's like. Um, <clears throat> now, some things that cost are the Cheyenne Mountain Zoo, which is a lot of fun. It is not the biggest zoo in the world, but it's just a really unique zoo. 
um, they have a really fun area where you can like get really close to the giraffes and feed them and stuff. And I know a lot of zoos do that, but, but they do have that. And then they just have, you know, other animals and stuff, but it is on the side of Pikes Peak is like on the side of the mountain. So just the, the scenery itself is really neat. And they have some really neat exhibits and they actually have been doing a lot of work out there. Every time I've gone out there, they have a new, really neat exhibit. Um, it's a little strenuous as far as walking goes. You can take a stroller. They have elevators and stuff to help you get from the different levels. Um, but it is, it is a strenuous walk um, when you're not used to the altitude and then being pregnant. Uh, last couple times I've been out there, I think I've been pregnant. So I had to take a lot of breaks and just sit down and be like, okay, let's breathe. But um, it's fun. The kids really like it. They've got a merry-go-round. They've got places to eat out there. You can easily spend the whole day at Cheyenne Mountain Zoo. So it is a, it's a fun place to go. Um, and I'll link that below and the costs and stuff will be, you know, on their website. Then we also really enjoy the Royal Gorge and the Royal Gorge train. Now the Royal Gorge train is not actually up at the Royal Gorge. You ride the train from down in uh, Canyon City is where you get on the, the train. And it's a two hour trip. It's an hour out and an hour back. Um, and we have just sat in like the normal seats, not the dining car, but you can still order drinks and snacks um, from the normal seat. You just don't have the table and everything. So that was a really fun thing and my kids all enjoyed it and even though it's two hours like nobody complained or anything and I took all three on that um, last summer I guess it was I think it was last summer maybe the summer before I don't know anyway it was a lot of fun um, they also have like a viewing car so like after you get going and stuff you can go out on the viewing car and walk around and see and it actually goes under the royal gorge so you get to like look up and see the big bridge and you're down in the canyon down by the colorado or is it the arkansas river you're down by the river i can't remember what river it is right now but you're down by there you get to see whitewater rafters going by or at least we did i obviously they're not probably always there um but it was a lot of fun and it um we really enjoyed doing that. And then, especially my six-year-old, of course, he's really big into trains. And he wasn't six at the time, but still, yeah, we love that. Uh, and then the Royal Gorge, which is actually up on the bridge. And you have to kind of go up the mountain to get to there. And it's been a while since I've been up there. I think they have completely, they had a fire a few years back that destroyed it. And so they've rebuilt um, everything up there. And I hear it's better than ever. And it was a lot of fun before. So if it's better than it used to be, then I am sure it's an excellent place to go. And I have actually not been to the new Royal Gorge, so I can't tell you a lot about it. But I I hope to go out there next time we go to Colorado because I, I hear a lot of good things about it. So I think that would be a fun thing to do. Um, probably not the best if you're scared of heights because you do get to walk across the bridge and it is extremely high and they have like gondolas that go across the bridge and that is a lot of fun too but again I mean you are way up there and it's just it's really high but um yeah so that's another fun place uh and then downtown in Colorado Springs is a museum and this is also free and it is like the history of Colorado and stuff. And it is a really fun museum for part of it's just, you know, normal museum, like a lot of looking and reading, but they also have like a little kids area that's real interactive to teach kind of like Colorado history. Um, and it's, yeah, free, like I said, but the kids also really enjoyed that. So I can't remember what it's called exactly. I'll have to look that up and I'll link it below. But um, yeah, it's a fun place to go. And I would say you probably can spend a few hours here. But it would be a good thing to do, you know, with something else. If you're doing something else downtown area, um, it's, it's a fun thing to do. Something to kill some time that's free. So, and then, of course, there's the Air Force Academy. And you can tour the Air Force Academy. And we have not taken the kids to do that. We've driven by to look at the big planes sitting out and stuff. And they love that. But I have not actually, I've never been there at the same time as my husband that we could go to the Air Force Academy and I kind of felt like it was somewhere I needed to probably have another adult with me and not just me and the three kids. So 
Um, where, yeah, all those other places, I'm actually pretty comfortable taking just the kids by myself. Uh, but yeah, the Air Force, I just haven't felt like tackling by myself yet. Um, so maybe one day when my husband goes out there, we can go do that. But I hear that is a really fun experience. Um, and we always enjoy just driving by and looking at the stuff that's outside. So I'm sure if you go inside, it's even better. <laughs> There's so much other things you can do. There's Old Colorado City. There's Pikes Peak. So, oh, and I forgot. Yes, Helen Hunt Falls. It is on your way to Seven Falls, which is a beautiful waterfall. It's seven separate waterfalls all in a row. Um, and it is beautiful, but it is pricey. It is very pricey. And... Um, they actually have like a really fancy restaurant up there and stuff. And if you want to go, just you and somebody special or something, that would be excellent. But I haven't wanted to take the kids and pay the money to go to this really fancy place. And I think they have some walking trails and stuff out there too. Um, so we go to Helen Hunt Falls, which is actually free. It's similar. It's just a little bit smaller, but it is still beautiful. And I'll link pictures if I haven't already put some up in here. I don't know where I'll insert them, but I do plan on putting some pictures up in here to show you some of these things. And, um, and I'll put links in below. Anyway, Helen Hunt Falls is great fun. The kids love it. They have a little welcome center there that's great. If you go at the right time of year, sometimes they let you like pan for gold and stuff. Um, they have a little hiking trail. It And it's a beautiful drive, beautiful drive up to there. So that is another must do and it's free. So yeah, there's, you've got a lot of free things. Um, Garden of the Gods, Helen Hunt Falls, Focus on the Family um, are all free. So those are three free things um, and the kids love all of them. Um, oh, okay, I'm thinking another thing. <laughs> uh, Manitou Springs has cliff dwellings and uh, I might have the name slightly wrong in that. I'll link that below too, but they're cliff dwellings. And you know, there's Mesa Verde in Colorado, but it's like five hours from Colorado Springs. It is not anywhere near. This is actually in Colorado Springs, just, just up the mountain from old Colorado City. And it is a fun place to go to. It's a lot smaller than somewhere like Mesa Verde if you've been there, but it is cliff dwellings. Um, it's a little bit more interactive. Like the kids can crawl all through them. You can go through them. They have a welcome center there. The only thing that isn't my favorite thing about this place is it is a little pricier and it doesn't take very long to do. I mean, a few hours at the most. Um, and that's really letting the kids explore and do a lot. Um, because you can pretty much, you, you pull in the parking lot and that's it. You see everything just right there. So there's not a whole lot more than what you see. But you can get to go through it all and stuff. And so that is that is a fun thing to do. Um, yeah, so there's, there's that. And then if you go further up that mountain, there is, the North Pole is an amusement park kind of based on Santa Claus. Um, I have been there before in the past. I have not gone with my kids. It's just a cute little amusement park. It, nothing crazy, nothing too big, but if you wanted something to kind of kill a day or half a day, I mean, it might be something worth looking into. It's more carnival-like, I guess you could say. Uh, but yeah, so I hope that gives you some ideas for a vacation in Colorado Springs. Like this video if you found it helpful or useful. Um, feel free to leave comments about anything I said or if you have ideas to add, if there's something fun you've done in Colorado Springs. And please subscribe if you want to see future videos. Um, I hope to plan some more or post some more vacation videos. I have some other fun vacation ideas, St. Louis, Kansas City, Disney. Um, and I also actually hope to start planning or posting some videos about our personal Disney planning and our trip that we're hoping to go on soon. So yeah, lots coming up, um, lots of more baby posts, other posts, you know, just who knows, whatever happens to come my way. Anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you all later. Bye.